Hey guys, and welcome to a, another reading vlog. So currently it is just past four in the afternoon. Today hasn't been very productive as far as reading. I did listen to a little bit of my audiobook, which is The Diviners by Vilva Bray earlier, while I was playing a game. And I got about two and a half hours done from that. I'm really liking it so far. So everybody says the audiobook is really good, and I completely agree. So I'm really liking that. That's what I'm currently reading on audio. The rest of the day, I am currently, I just uploaded last week's vlog onto YouTube. I also have to um, upload my review of The Night Market by Jonathan Moore onto YouTube right after. So I'm going to link both of those videos down below for you guys to go check out when you want. So that is what I'm doing right now. And then later, I'm going to try to finish two books. I have to finish The Cruel Prince by Ollie Black, because that is the Perus Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of January. I want to finish that today. I also want to finish Simona Sons, which is an arc I got from NetGalley. That comes out tomorrow, the 16th. So, i got to finish both of those books today. My priority, as of right now, is to finish Simona Sons, because, again, it comes out tomorrow. But, I don't know, I've actually considered DNFing it like three or four times because I'm hating it but I'm pushing through I'm almost done with it so I'm gonna try to finish that tonight but that's all I have to have to do for now so I'll tell you guys a little bit happy later. Tuesday guys so yesterday I didn't update you guys on my reading that much yesterday I managed to fin uh, finish Sin Lena Sands by Josiah Bancroft I gave it two stars I found it to be really boring but it has fantastic reviews on Goodreads so the basic premise of it is kind of hard to explain. We follow this character named Thomas and him and his wife are on a honeymoon and they travel to this tower that has different societies within the structure of it and his wife goes missing and our main character Thomas thinks that she has gone to the top of the tower so she has made her way through the different societies to get to the very top and it follows him as he goes on a mission to find her so he makes his way again through the entire tower it is very long and very drawn out but i can definitely see the appeal of why people have really really enjoyed it Personally, it wasn't for me. This is the first book, and I believe it got a trilogy, but I could be wrong on that. But I don't have any plans to continue on with the series, but if you guys are interested in checking it out, I will have it linked down below along with all the other books I read this week. I always have them all linked down below, so that's that. As far as my progress in The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, I am loving this book. The best way I can describe it is, is like... Game of Thrones and The Hunger Games meets Akatar, so I love The Hunger Games. I've actually never really seen Game of Thrones. I've seen the first like three episodes and I was really enjoying it, but uh, I know the basic storyline of Game of Thrones, so it's kind of got those aspects. I'm on page 68, so I am slowly making my way through this. Like I said, I think I said this in last week's vlog I want to kind of slow down my reading because my reading goal if you guys saw my reading writing channel and life goals video I did at the beginning of this year I'll have it linked down below I only want to read 25 books this year because I'm gonna be so busy with school so at this point I've read seven books or, or no eight books already so I really want to start slowing it down a little bit so I can you know enjoy every book I read reading but I am really liking this so far I am going to do a whole uh, spoilery review once I am done with it so be on the lookout for that so that is that so that is my reading update for now uh, this morning I had a dentist appointment and I just got back from that about an hour ago and that's literally all I've done today so that's my update for now I will check in with you guys a little bit later okay everybody so I'm back with another update it's currently about seven o'clock and I just wanted to include this moment in the vlog. This has nothing to do with books or booktube or anything. But it is something that I am very passionate about myself. So I thought I would just put it in here. So as you, most of you guys know, I like to occasionally talk about my favorite bands. And the bands I'm currently listening to. Most of the time I'm mentioning Fall Out Boy. What else is new? But... 
I saw a post on Twitter earlier today about a band that I grew up listening to and they were on Disney Channel so I used to watch them all the time and I never got to see them live. Now if you guys are about my age or or growing up in the early 2000s you might know that the band I'm talking about is the Jonas Brothers. I was the biggest Jonas Brothers fan. I have two of their albums I have a little bit longer and then Lines, Vines, and Trying Times. I loved the Jonas Brothers growing up. They were like literally my favorite band that I ever got into. The first band I ever got into. And I knew all their songs by heart. I had their obviously their albums. I watched all the movies they were in, the TV shows. They were like my life. And then they broke up. Well, actually, they went on hiatus, then they came back, and then they officially broke up a couple of years ago, which tore my heart to pieces. My little 13-year-old heart, at the time, I was obviously a little bit older, but the inner 13-year-old in me was just, like, devastated, because I had always wanted to see them in concert. Now, today, I don't know if this officially surfaced today, but you, anybody who pays attention to the music industry might have seen this going around. I guess the Jonas Brothers reactivated their Instagram account sometime in the past day or so. And they I guess they had deactivated it for a while after they officially broke up a couple of years ago. So now everybody is freaking out. So there is a possibility of a reunion tour, which is something that I had always hoped they would do because I do want to see them in concert. It is like, on the list of concerts of bands I want to see live, it would be Jonas Brothers and then a bunch of other bands I'm going to go into in this video. So the possibility of a reunion tour makes me want to just go into my room, which I'm in, but not that it matters, and just jam out to their old stuff. Like, my favorite song by them was When You Look Me In The Eyes But Burning Up, Year 3000. All the classics that I knew when I was in my preteen, early teenage years. So, if you guys know the anything else about this possible reunion tour, let me know in the comments down below. And I will probably fangirl along with you, because just the thought of this happening pulls at my heartstrings. I still have, you know, if you guys want, look at any of my walls and my vlogs or on my regular videos you will see I have band posters all over my room. I have Fall Out Boy and I have Big Time Rush. Those are just a couple. I actually still have a couple of my Jonas Brothers posters up that is actually blocked by a like four foot by four foot poster or banner of Fall Out Boy. So I still have them up. So I don't know. I just thought I would include this in the vlog. Because why not? Because I know a lot of you who are probably around my age were Jonas Brothers fans or at least knew of them when they were like the big thing. So anyways, that is what I want to talk about. I figured that would be interesting to include in the vlog. So that is it. I haven't done any reading today. I have been editing all day and I have... I start school tomorrow. So I thought I would just get everything ready again I was editing so I can have videos to put up for you guys while school is going on and then not doing much else so that's it for now I'm gonna actually go hop in the bath and do some reading in there and I will talk to you guys afterwards hey everybody happy Thursday so today has been a pretty unproductive day I haven't done any filming or editing I haven't done any reading it's just been a day of doing nothing. I'm sorry I'm looking down a lot. I'm looking at my computer screen. But as far as what I've done today, I was supposed to start my spring semester of college today, but if you guys live on the east coast, especially in New England, we've been getting snow t uh, all day today, so my class got canceled. So I didn't go to class. So that's that. So I decided just to watch I've been getting into gaming channels and gaming stuff lately, especially 
on Twitch primarily, I would say. So I was watching a couple of gamers that I really like um, do some live streams today, so that's what I'm doing. And that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish what I was doing earlier, which was writing blog posts, and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Hey everybody, happy Thursday. So yesterday I accidentally said yesterday was Thursday when it was Wednesday, so I apologize for that. But yesterday I really didn't do any reading at all. I was just getting ready for school, even though I didn't start school yesterday when I was supposed to because of the snow, I wanted to get everything packed and ready to go. So that's what I did all day yesterday and I do have everything set and done, but I do have a homework assignment to do, which I'm going to be doing later after I end this part of the vlog. Excuse me. But that's what I did yesterday. I also applied to a few more jobs. I applied to, let's see what I applied to, Walgreens, Hot Topic, and I applied to Sears. And I actually got an interview with Sears on Monday at 1.30, so that's so exciting. I have school that day, so I'm gonna have to go to school. I get out at 12.15 for my psychology class, come home, get dressed, and go up to New Hampshire. Literally, it's a 20 minute drive from my house to where the Sears is, so it's a pretty quick drive. I have my interview. I might walk around the mall because our Sears, where I live, is in a mall. So I might go to Hot Topic or Lush afterwards to get a couple of things, but I'm not too sure. So that's what's going on on Monday. This weekend is going to be busy. I'm going to try to get as much reading done as I can today because on Sunday, my dad's side of the family is having a... I don't want to call it like a Christmas get together because it was a little it's a little bit later of course after Christmas but we usually try to get together my dad's side of the family at least twice a year because my dad's side of the family lives all over the country we have family in Maine New Hampshire Vermont Massachusetts South Carolina North Carolina Georgia Alaska we have family all over the place so we try to get together as often as we can so we're gonna get out on Sunday and also that day is the day of the Patriots AFC Championship game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. So we are going to watch the game and see if we can make it to the Super Bowl again because we, of course, won it last year. So that's really exciting. And yeah, that's going to be a busy day. So I probably won't vlog at all that day. If Even if I have time. I'm, I don't, I'm not too comfortable vlogging around my family yet. I, I've vlogged a couple of times with my like immediate family, but my parents and my brother and my uncle when I was in New York last year, and that was okay. I did, it was New York, everybody vlogs in New York, so I'm trying to get more comfortable with vlogging in public because it's not my specialty yet, but hopefully that will change, so I probably won't vlog that day, so I'm going to try to get as much reading done as I can today and tomorrow, so that way I can have Sunday to spend with my family and then Monday to get ready for school, so... That's that. And yeah, so I will check in with you guys a little bit later when I actually have something to update on. Okay everybody, I'm back with another update. It's currently 9 o'clock and I just finished on ebook when I was in the bath. Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shannon McGuire, which is book 2 in the Wayward Children series. I really, really like this book. I enjoyed it a lot more than I enjoyed the first book, which was Area Heart of Doorway. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars very very close to five stars to be honest i really really enjoyed it if you guys are not familiar with the series this is a ya fantasy series that is actually it's kind of a series of novellas they're really really short and they follow these kids who go through different doorways to portal world so they're talking about like narnia and wonderland that kind of thing and then they come back and they are not able to adjust to living life back in the normal world from the years they spent in those portal fantasy worlds. So it's all about them and the first book, Every Heart Doorway, follows one of our main characters who is asexual and she goes to this school which houses a lot of other kids who are put into a similar situation. So that had a murder mystery element to it. Again, I really liked the first book. I get into giving that four stars. I read that in November and then this one down among the six bones follows two characters Jack and Jill this is technically a prequel to every hard door I just want to make that clear so Jack and Jill they are identical twin sisters and they are going through a doorway to the moors and one of them ends up living with a vampire and the other ends up living with a mad scientist 
So it follows their experiences there, and it was really, really, really good. So I highly recommend the series. There is an LGBTQ plus romance going on between two girls in this book, so if that interests you, I would definitely like recommend it. And as always, I will have all the books I read this week linked down below for you guys to go check out. So that is my update for now. I have just been coloring and watching the Bruins since I got out of the bath, so not much reading done, but I'm hoping to do some reading in The Cruel Prince once I am done watching the Bruins game. So. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Happy Friday, everybody. So, currently it is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Today has been a day of just watching some BookTube and deciding if I want to film today, which I think I am going to do a Friday Reads today. I have to do a couple things before that, before I can film, but I do plan on doing a Friday Reads or some sort of weekly wrap-up today, I think. That's my plan right now. But other than that, I have just been playing a game all morning and listened to my audiobook, which is The Diviners by Lil Bray. I have about six and a half hours left on that. It's really, really good so far. It definitely lives up to the hype that everybody's been giving it, so that's what I have been doing. Also, happy release day to Fall Out Boy's seventh studio album, Mania, comes out today. Go pick it up in stores. I'll have a link to it down below. I am so excited. I've heard a couple of the songs that they have released as singles so far and I've had a lot of mixed feelings about them but I want, can't wait to hear the entire album so yeah that's just my update for now so I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Alright everybody so I'm back with another update it's now 3 o'clock and I just got a package in the mail. I'm so excited about this it doesn't have to do with books but I'm gonna throw it in anyways so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for a year now since it was announced. There it is. Oh my god. It is Mania, Fall Boy's new album. Like I talked about earlier, this came out today, the 19th. So like I said earlier, I'll have a link to it down below. I'm so excited but yet nervous because I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews but oh my gosh look how pretty it is. Most of the songs I've actually heard because half of the album was like released as singles already so I've heard quite a few of these already and I've seen most of this album live because I did see Fall Out Boy. Last October we are on the Mania tour so this is what it looks like and then on the back has all the songs. Sorry there's kind of a glare. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to listen to this. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. So I am going to go ahead and actually listen to this and then I might be back to tell you guys how I feel about it, but I do plan on doing an entire review on my personal channel, so I'm going to go ahead and listen to this and I'll be back a little bit later with what I thought. Okay everybody, so I'm back. It is now 5 o'clock and I just finished listening to Mania by Fall Out Boy, their 7th studio album. And I have a lot of mixed feelings on this album. I went in with pretty low expectations just because of how we got introduced to the album with Young and Menace. It was not my favorite by far. And then when they started releasing other singles like Champion and The Last of the Real Ones, they started getting better. So it was good for a while. And then we had the Hold Me Tight or Don't come out. Still not my favorite. And, you know, I just had so many mixed feelings about it before the actual release. I actually put off listening to the last two singles that were released before the album came out today. Um, Church and Hold Me, or not Hold Me Tight or Don't. Wilson slash expensive mistakes because I had, think I had heard enough at the, that point to make up my mind on how I was going to feel about this album. So I put off holding those, uh, or listening to those. I actually, that's not true. I did hear expensive mistakes live when I saw Fall Out Boy last October on the Mania tour. It's actually pretty good live, um, but I didn't know how it actually sound on a CD form. So when I put this into my computer and started listening to it, we started off with a bang with uh, Stay Frosty, Royal Milk Tea. I love that song. And then we got some other really great hits like The Last of the Real Ones and Champion and Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate is my favorite song on this album by far. It's tied with The Last of the Real Ones, but I think Heaven's Gate 
is my favorite. I absolutely love this song. And I'm just giving you guys my overall journal thoughts. I'm going, like I said earlier, I'm going to do a full review of it on my personal channel. So be on the lookout for that. But if I was to rate this album on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 7. If on a scale of 1 to 5, I'd probably give it a 3.5. It wasn't the best. This is probably my least favorite Fall Out Boy album. And I own almost all of their albums. So I have them right here. Uh, my favorite being Save Rock and Roll, which was their album that came out in 2013. So it was a disappointment. But I can still see myself jamming out to some of these songs. Like I said, Heaven's Gate, The Last of the Real Ones, Champion, occasionally even Young and Menace. So that's just my general thoughts. Again, I'm going to do a full review of this on my personal channel. So when it goes live, I will have it linked down below. That is probably actually going to be the first video I put up on that channel. So that's super cool. So that's just my general thoughts on Mania, you guys. Let me know if you guys are a Fall Out Bay fan, what you thought of the album. And I will have it linked down below, like I said earlier, if you are interested in checking it out. I do recommend you guys check it out and give it a try. So, yep, yeah, that's my just my overall thoughts. As far as reading, I haven't done too much reading since the last update, you guys. I was still listening to the Diviners by Little Bray on audio, and that's about it. So, that was just a quick little update, and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Happy Saturday, everybody. So, it is just past noon now. I haven't done any reading today, of course, because I woke up pretty late. I woke up at, like, quarter of 11, because I went to bed late last night. So I haven't had time to read and I have to do homework for my intro to psychology class today. So I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done. But as far as my reading last night, I did, sin did still continue with The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I'm on page... Oh my god, what page am I on? 188. I'm loving this book so far. Like I described, was it earlier in this book? I think it was early in this book. It is kind of like Game of Thrones... And the Hunger Games meets the Court of Thrones and Roses. You guys know how much I love Court of Thrones and Roses, considering a couple weeks ago I just would not shut up about it. <laughs> and then I do really like the Hunger Games, and I have started watching the Game of Thrones TV show. So I am just loving this book so far. It is easily something I could have read in one sitting if I had the time, but I am just kind of taking my time with this book, considering I've already read nine books this month. And again, my goal is at 25 books as far as my Goodreads challenge. So I kind of want to slow down my reading, but I am just loving it so much. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to do my review of this when I am done with it. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. As far as my audiobook listening, I am still listening to The Diviners by Libra Bray. Loving that book so far too. I am thoroughly enjoying that. I am... I have like five hours left in it, so I'm going to try to finish it today when I'm doing my homework, but so good, so good. So I'm reading two fantastic books right now, and my ebook I'm currently reading is Zach by Mons Collincroft, which I probably butchered that name, I'm so sorry, which is a adult psychological thriller, and I'm really liking that too. It takes place in Sweden, it's written by a Swedish author, it was translated from Swedish which is my first translated work. So three books I am really, really liking. I'm all reading at one time, so cannot wait to finish all of them. So that is my update for now. I gotta go do homework and I will update you guys a little bit later in the day. Hey everybody, happy Sunday. So it's currently eight o'clock at night. It's been quite a long day. So today my dad's side of the family had our Christmas get together because we usually try to get together as a big family once a year because my dad's side lives in like a lot of different states not just New England but we have family in Alaska and Atlanta Georgia so we try to get together at least once a year if not more whenever we have the chance so I was over at my uncle's house for that today and on top of that the Patriots were in the AFC championship game today and we won and we're going to the Super Bowl for the second year in a row I'm so excited so congratulations to the Patriots as well as Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars were a great team to play against. They definitely played a tough game, but gotta give them credit because it was a very good game. So I just got back from that like an hour ago, and I've just been sitting in my bed coloring and watching the NFC Championship game to see who will be playing the Patriots in the Super Bowl. It's the Minnesota Vikings versus the Philadelphia Eagles that are playing right now. I am rooting for the Eagles, but... 
I'll have to see what happens. So that's that. I haven't done any reading, as you can expect, uh, today because I've been out of my house literally the entire day. So I'm hoping to get some reading in my ebook done or my audiobook tonight before I go to bed. I have a pretty long day tomorrow. I start school officially tomorrow, unless we get snowed out again. Knowing New England's weather, who knows at this point, but hopefully. I will be starting school, and on top of that, I have a job interview right after school, <laughs> so it's going to be a long day. So that is my update for now, and I will check in with you guys a little bit later in the night. Alright everybody, so it's currently quarter of ten. I figured I would just pop in for another update. This has nothing to do with books, because I haven't done any reading since I last updated you guys. So like I said in the previous update, I was watching the NFC matchup against our they were play it was being played between the Vikings and the Eagles to see who the Patriots will be playing in Super Bowl 52 in two weeks. And I was correct on my prediction. The Eagles will be playing the Patriots, which is awesome. We've actually p previously played the Eagles before in Super Bowl 39, I think. I could be wrong. Um, and we actually, the Patriots did win. So I actually, going into, like, midway through the NFL season I actually expected this to be the matchup for the Super Bowl the Patriots and the Eagles I don't know something in my gut was just telling me that but it was a really cool game to watch because oh my gosh the poor Vikings just could not get the ball into the end zone so I want to say a quick congratulations to both the Eagles and the Vikings. You guys both have great seasons and I look forward to playing Philadelphia in Super Bowl 52 in two weeks in Minneapolis. So I know that really doesn't have anything to do with books but I like to incorporate things I like in my personal life besides books into these vlogs so I figured I would just throw in some occasional sports things because I love watching sports. I am of course from Boston and I think any of you guys who pay attention to the sports know that Boston has been winning a lot of championships since the beginning of the 2000s so I kind of grew up around the time so I sports has always been a big part of my life and I always look forward to talking about it. I, I always think I need to talk with, with, about it with someone besides my own family occasionally so yeah I think incorporating my thoughts and feelings on different sports into these vlogs is always a lot of fun so that is all I have to talk about for now right now I'm sure going to go ahead and go try to finish The Cruel Prince by Holly Black I really want to finish it tonight so I can get up my review this week I am loving it so far guys if you have not picked this book up why it's so good so Go pick it up. I'll have it linked down below along with all the other books I've read this week if you guys are interested in picking them up. But that is all I have to update for now. So I will check in with you guys at the end of the night. Okay everybody, so it's now Monday and I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this week's vlog. So this week I managed to finish two books. I managed to finish Send Them the Sons by Josiah Bancroft, which I gave a 2 out of 5 stars. And I finished Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shannon McGuire, which I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars. So it was a pretty good reading week. I, even though I didn't read much, I really enjoyed both, well, one of the books I read and the other was probably going to be on my least favorites of 20, or 2018 list. Yeah, so I would say it was a decent reading week. As far as what I am currently reading, let me pull up my Goodreads. I'm currently reading three books. I am still reading The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I have like 20 pages left from that, so I'll probably finish it this week, so you guys will see that in next week's vlog. I'm still reading Zach by Mons Kalinkoft on ebook, and on audiobook, I'm almost finished with Diviners by Liv Bray. I have like 45 minutes left in that, so I'll probably finish that in next week's vlog as well, so that is it so i hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already i'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below along with all the books i read this week and the link to my book club on greed reads if you guys are interested in joining us be sure to check out all, all those links down below with all being said i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you soon for another video thanks for watching everybody bye